Carajo. Hello my Taurus friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your money finance career reading for March 28th to April 4th. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys. The dreamer, wanting to take a leap of faith, trusting yourself, trusting the divine. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities are about to come your way. Release something to do with the Scorpio, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Absolutely the end of a circumstance. Archangel Azrael and Archangel Metatron are really next to you, they're close to you, they're helping guide you, helping lead you. You definitely, I want to say, some of you may feel like you're alone, but that's what happens when you're starting a new phase before the complete end of the other phase. So as a phase or circumstance situation happens, look at that, the Fool card, we'll talk about that in a sec. As a circumstance, phase, or situation ends, a lot of times before it ends, a portal of energy opens here. You see, and as the portal of energy opens, you have one foot in the past and one foot in the future one foot in the movement forward well it seems that's exactly what's going on and it seems like there's a whole lot of water going on and movement going on the problem is is that you haven't really released the past in order to move into the future i think you want to take an absolute leap of faith we have the fool card here but uh, there's concerns about something happening suddenly i think you're feeling like you very well suddenly may be left there is communication coming in very very quickly possibly about some nefarious nonsense going on behind the scenes or there's there's an intuitive nudge that someone might be playing you you want to take this leap of faith for sure but you feel someone might be playing you. Getting out while the getting's good. Wondering what you should do. Queen of Wands energy. So this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Wanting to take the leap of faith to trusting somebody. It's almost like having a new best friend. But there's mental acuity. Your, your intuition. But on the mental side of things. There's some sort of warning that you're getting and you're not exactly sure what to do with it. You want to create the new. It's like a, putting lots of different plans in action. Um, maybe taking one thing, one plan, putting it in action and then not nurturing it all the way to the end but allowing someone to come in and do it for you. And ending with a judge, a boss, a CEO, a paternal figure in the family walking away from something where a decision was made perhaps there will be a victory so there is a victory coming in in taking control and walking away ending a situation taking control the fact that it's ending is the victory page of swords there's some sort of curiosity going on here though Ah, something about a Scorpio too, like this is Scorpio energy, Pluto, there's something, some sort of lesson you've needed to learn, possibly something that happened since last November till now. We have Aries energy very strongly here, some sort of curiosity coming about, could be due to boredom or not seeing a value in... Someone coming back around, taking control of a situation, if that's you, like you're really putting your foot down here. There is an absolute victory, a win after a very hard struggle. It could be that a child in some sort of way is coming through to give you the information that you need. There's an opportunity coming that you may not want. It's like you just got done it. You, yeah, you wonder if you're being manipulated. You wonder if you're being manipulated. It's kind of like 
not being able to make a decision and being stabbed in the back by your own indecision. Your mind is like stabbing you in the back. You want to move forward and take that leap of faith, but there's just a lack of trust in the circumstance. You might be stabbed in the back by your indecision, but the other person's walking away with the three of swords. So I'm telling you, who's the winner here? You might be feeling manipulated to believe that your mind might be tricking you into believing that you're the loser. But in actuality, the truth of this card, the truth of the matter, is that the person walking away with the Three of Swords is the one in the most pain. Oh, so they've got it good. They're not stabbed, but they're still hurt. Something about they're still hurt. They're hurting too. It's like a, a Three of Swords pain burden a heartache that they'll carry with them for a very long time. Perhaps this is somebody else and they feel this way and you're walking that way. You're walking away from the circumstance or situation. It's hard to say, but someone is stuck between a loop of indecision and whether they're actually going to have to carry this burden forever. There's something about that. That's interesting. Y'all have to let me know what's going on. There's a curiosity, an ingenuity at play here, but it's almost like there's a lack of trust. It's like putting an end to the curiosity. You've already had the victory. You've taken control of the situation. Like, I just want it to go away. Spend time in, med in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So they're saying that there's positivity to be found here with a victory and taking control of the situation in an ending of some sort, a release, a releasing a situation, circumstance, perhaps the mental and emotional pain of things. There's a big but here though. There's a big but because there's still so much holding on to it. I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. That's why they need you to get quiet. I think you've gone, been, it seems you've been on a, a never-ending whirlwind of commotion, and especially with the Knight of Wands here. It's like there's, there's like this sudden event, and you really have to make a decision quick, but there's an absolute lack of trust. Your mind is telling you that this looks similar to something you've been through previously <laughs> so I'm not going to trust this crap it's just going to happen again but the divine is asking you to take a leap of faith and understand that this is absolutely a new cycle but you have the control you do have the control here it is within your control to make this happen how you choose I think I think you'd like to manipulate it perhaps to the way you'd like it to be or somebody else would seven of cups looking at your options not seeing which option is the best option. In fact, I would even say refusing to see which option is the best option. I think the walking away isn't such a bad idea. It will be a victory, but there's some sort of pain and hurt, of course, that comes with it. Of course there is. There always is. You have to remember that when you're looking at your options about which way to go, don't just look at the options as they are. Look at how you inserting your energy into each situation changes it. How do you change that option? How do you make it better or worse? How does your energy change the whole thing? Tell me about this, spending time in quiet meditation. We have something to do with your children here or childhood, could be some sort of childhood trauma. Asking the divine why, there's a whole lot of asking why right now. Knowing that the divine has a bigger plans for things, this could just be simply be about your children, maybe even wondering if you should just walk away from it all. What are the options about? Good news coming in, stalemates are over, uh, pauses are over, things happening at a very fast pace. And the divine is telling you that there's more going on here, perhaps choosing to go it alone, but money is going to look very good for you. Someone could decide to be single. Someone could be incredibly focused on their money, and I think you might be taking it also as a slight. There's something about a slight from somebody here. This could here, Page of Swords, be a slight. Tell me about the Leap of Faith energy. Good news coming your way during Aries season. Taking a Leap of Faith with a Fire Sign Child. 
oh, trying to manipulate circumstances to get the truth to come out because there's been some mental emotional fuckery. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. Someone's concerned about being played. There is definitely kindred spirit here, kindred partnership, working together, mutual agreed upon emotion. This could very well be about a merger or something coming together. We have a an emperor type energy that wants a victory and there's curiosity about what's going on. I think you're just concerned about being manipulated in the circumstances. And you're also being concerned about being played in relationships. Tell me about the seven of swords. Great happiness and clarity coming. I wonder if there's something that's been hidden that would make you happy if it didn't come out. Or would make a Queen of Wands happy. The Queen of Wands, we have brand new beginnings, brand new starts based on all of the hard work you've done so far. If this is your energy, there is an opportunity coming. I wonder if someone could very well be receiving an engagement ring, which could be affecting how you move forward. Wanting to run, someone's wanting to run, trying to manipulate the circumstances to go how you want them to go. And we have look, looking at your options again. I mean, I could be completely off base here. Take this relationship wise or take it in relationship with your employer, your employees. Take it how it resonates. In other words, this is a money, finance, career reading. Okay. Tell me about the Four of Cups. What's the Four of Cups about here? We have, yeah, concern about being lacking in finances. Concerned about, oh man, someone's got cold feet about stepping into the new. Trusting their emotions to anybody. Because it, it's it, they're, they're using the emotional trust as a cover for their actual lack of financial trust in how somebody is. It's like they're concerned about losing out on finances. Page of Swords, Empress Energy. This could be a pregnant person. Uh, someone who's about six months away from birth there's a a match here feminine and masculine energy that a victory could be surrounding or they have a victory between them the victory you want to put the burdens down you're almost done the divine saying don't give up on what you've created trust yourself you're almost there You've been trying to build something and it seems like you need to work with others in order to get the job done. Maybe putting in your two cents a little more. I wonder if someone younger is coming to you in order to give you a business idea or if you're young, you're going to someone else to pitch an idea to somebody. All right, more advice from the divine. What's the best advice the divine has for you in this circumstance and situation? There's going to be great happiness, great happiness in a coming together of two kindred spirits to create something of tangible form here in the 3D, financially. Flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend. Don't break. So there is going to be a lot of change and turbulence coming your way. No wonder this, this reading came with a lot of energy attached. So be flexible. Seaweed, seaweed is flexible. The ocean swells. You know, seaweed back and forth, whereas a mighty oak can break under strong pressure and wind. Are you the mighty oak when this strong pressure of wind comes? Or are you the seaweed that can gently flow and it has so much strength it flows through the turbulence? I love you guys. Blessings to you.